All right, well, I got a bunch of my drawers done yesterday, um, but I really didn't film it or explain what I, how I did it and what I did, so I've got a couple more to do, so I figure I'll uh, take a little time today and show you exactly what I did and how I do it. Um, it's fairly standard um, for cabinetry makers and cabinetry, but uh, you know, you can get fancier with, uh, with your drawer boxes and have, you know, um, uh, dovetail corners and all kinds of other nice stuff, but uh, kind of crunch for time and uh, and trying to save space and material. So I'm just going with half inch uh, plywood here. Give you a quick look. I'm not doing uh, any fancy corners or anything really. Just kind of gluing and, and pin nailing them. Um, I'm going to have my one inch cedar uh, face on here for the cabinet face, and uh, so I really don't need it to be all that pretty. Um, I'll sand it all down. We'll get a coat of polyurethane on it after we get it all laid out and get it all finished out. But uh, let me take a minute and show you exactly how I uh, am doing this. All right, well, I'm going to use this as my uh, example here, uh, similar to the other ones. Um, basically, what you want to do once you have your your opening figured out for your cabinetry, basically what you got is I've got 21 inches long by let's see seven and about five sixteenths where am I there it is seven and five sixteenths tall so I'm gonna make my drawer seven inches so I get clearance on top and bottom and the way that the drawer glides work is basically they take up they are half an inch half an inch thick so that's where so you take whatever your primary measurement is take one inch off of it and that's the width of your drawers and then I'm going <clears throat> these are also 20 inch drawer glides and I plan that for my cabinetry so I've got 20 inches so they're 20 inches deep to get that though um, the side pieces are 20 inches um, and then the front and back pieces are 19 inches because again half inch plywood half inch off on both sides means 19 so two pieces at 19 two pieces at 20 and then uh, I'll show you what I do to wrap it out the bottom for the, for the, for the bottom so there's a number of different ways to create a, uh, a rabbit like this um, if you have a bigger table saw with a, a dado blade set you can set the, the multiple blades together for a thicker cut and do it in one quick one shot or you can do it with a router um, and a router table um, i don't have a router table and i don't have a dado blade so unfortunately i have to do it in two passes um, so basically setting my uh the height of the blade to where am i here yep to a quarter inch essentially here and then uh, making a one pass with that way then i'm going to reset it and cut it the other way all right, so I've reset the blade then now to be half inches, half inch tall and leaving a quarter inch for my other cut so that uh, now I already ran this one, but running it through this way, basically you get uh, all the way through, pass it right on by, and you create the desired effect. So just uh, basically glued, pinned, and I'm ready for my bottom piece. Now I always wait till I, before I cut my parts, I always like to double check and make sure I got my pieces together first. I've done that in the past where I've undercut pieces or overcut pieces. Now I get exactly what I need, 19 and 3 eighths, 
by 19 and 3 8. Hey, look at that. Alright, so my bottom's ready to go. So I always also glue the bottom on, glue and pin that. And my plastic type on too, wood glue. Excellent stuff. Don't want to get too crazy with it because you don't want it oozing out everywhere. Just a nice little bead. Around. Drop our bottom in. Now this is when you want to also square up the box. You can do that with while you when you pin it. To do that, check. I don't know for anyone who doesn't know, checking square, you measure corner diagonally across from corner to corner. And when those measurements are the same, you've got a square. So we're at 28 and 3 sixteenths that way. 28 and 3 sixteenths that way. Well, not diggity. So I have some small pin nails. They're inch and a quarter, so I don't get too crazy. Um, a little tricky when you're only using half inch plywood like this, because you know if you go a little too far one way, you can poke it out the side. If you go too far in way, you, you miss the whole thing. So. Got to get it right in that corner real nice. I like to pin all four corners to lock it into that square. Double check it again. 28 and 3 16. 28 and 3 16. Hopefully I didn't end up with any shiners. Shiners what you call it when a screw or a nail comes through. Outside's good. Inside's good. So I like to take a second too and clean up some of that glue, if anything, any glue that's oozing out. Um, my little ruler uh, works out really well because it's got this super fine little edge on it, little blade. So you can get right down into the corners, scoop out any of that glue. You can do it, you can wait till it's totally dry also, it's just a little harder to get out of there. Is it a bib or is it a rag? It's a little of both. Even though it's only quarter inch plywood for the bottom, it's actually quite, once it's within the, sur the structure of this, it's actually pretty solid. All right, so per the instructions of these drawer glides, you uh, separate the, the piece that attaches to the drawer from the part that attaches to the cabinet. Do that by simply sliding out. This part, push that little thing and slides on out. Now we measure up an inch and a quarter from the bottom. The bottom. Do that right there. Alright, so I've made a mark inch and a quarter up from the bottom on the front and the back. Taking my, my rail piece that's got to go on there, get three screws, line up the top of that rail, top with that inch and a quarter mark, a little bit back from the front face, just a tiny bit, a sixteenth they say, and have it there. And now what I like to do is I've got this little punch tool, it's got a little spring in there, it's great for hinges and other things. What you can do is when you get it where you want it you line that right up over your spot take a hammer give it a little tap and that instead of pre-drilling with a drill it, it does a nice little starter hole and that way your screw is easier to goes in easier and it doesn't go dancing all over the place when you're trying to shoot your screw in so before i do the other ones i get the first one in lock it in place like so now my line, make sure my line's good in the back. Make 
make another mark, which you can't really see. Got the tall or the long drawer in here that the cooktop's gonna go in. Um, got our big tray in uh, that the refrigerator's gonna sit in. Refrigerator freezer. Got 500 pound uh, glides on there, so we can handle that with no problem at all. Um, got a blank where the sink is gonna go. That's what our nice cedar is. Waiting for some stain and some polyurethane, which we'll be doing. That's why none of the faces are on. And then uh, this will be our little, uh, it's our little pantry kind of a cabinet. Got a tall spot on here for oils and other things like that. A little, little space underneath for who knows what. But basically, again, like a, just mounting it like a drawer, just sideways. Glide on top, glide on the bottom. 